good morning students we have been discussing about instruction formats right in the last class we discussed about the three most common cpu organizations that uh, define the number of address right number of address fields in an instruction the three most common cpu organizations are single accumulator organization general register organization and stack organization in single accumulator organization the accumulator register accumulator is used implicitly okay so the address uh, the instruction will have a single address okay so the operation is performed with the operand that is specified by the address in the instruction and the uh, operand in the accumulator okay so one of the operand is always stored in the accumulator it is single accumulator organization and the second organization general register organization in this the multiple registers are used to uh, store the data okay the operands will reside in the uh, general purpose registers so here the instruction format if you see the instruction format will have either two address or three address fields okay and these address fields may be one of the uh, uh, no operand in memory or it may be the address of a register data are stored in general purpose registers so here we will have two or three address fields okay in these type of instructions and here in the third organization stack organization we will have either a single address or zero address okay when we uh, perform when we have to do some computational uh, you know operations like uh, we have add instruction okay in this we don't need to specify the address because it is stack organized computer okay the storage is organized as a stack and when you perform this computational operations automatically the top two elements of the stack are removed okay and uh, the operation is performed on that okay tos is top of the stack for performing these operations push and pop we need to uh, give the address okay the means the address of the data okay the data that is to be pushed into the stack and the data that uh, we have to remove from the stack okay it is the top of the stack but where to store the data okay the data that that is removed from the stack need to be stored in some location so that location we have to specify in case of pop operation pop x so the data that is at the top of the stack is removed and stored in memory location x <coughs> Okay, so these are the three organizations: single accumulator organization, general register organization, and stack organization. Here you need to note that the single accumulator organized. Okay, in this way, the instructions will have a single address. Okay, and general register organization. In this organization, the instructions will have either two address or three address fields. and in stack organization we have either a single address or zero address okay push and pop because it is stack organization we will have either push and pop okay this instruction will have single address and the computational instructions such as add multiplication subtraction will have no address okay because it is performed on the top two elements of the stack and we have also seen that you know based on the number of address fields in the instruction instructions can be classified into three address instructions two address instructions one address and zero address instructions okay so here two and three address okay this is generally used uh, okay in uh, general register organized computers okay the computer with general register organizations the address fields would be either two or three address fields and the address field may be one of the register or the address of the memory location and one address instruction <coughs> it is okay these instructions the instruction with one address field we will have in single accumulator organization 
right? In the single accumulator organization, in the first uh, type of organization, we will have single address, okay? One address instructions and zero address instruction, okay? This type of instructions we will have in stack organized computers, okay? This you need to remember. Two and three address instructions we will have in general register organization. Okay, and one address instructions we will have in accumulator, single accumulator organization, and zero address instructions we will have in stack organized computers. Okay, and in the last class, we wrote, uh, you know, the instruction, set of instructions for evaluating this expression, right? X equal to A plus B into C plus D. To evaluate this expression, if we write, you no know, set of three address instructions, these are the set of three address instructions to evaluate this expression. And these are the two address instructions to evaluate this particular expression. Okay, we have seen that in the last class, we wrote it. And here, if you compare this, okay, if you see this, the three address instructions will have a more simple program, correct? Okay, these are, this is the assembly language program. We, the instructions we wrote are all assembly language instructions. Okay, so if you see this, the number of instructions in the three address instructions, okay, as we can give three address in a single instruction, the number of instructions are reduced. Okay, so the advantage is you will have a simple program. Okay, the program will be more simpler when we use three address instructions, whereas in two address instructions, the program will be lengthy. We will have number of more number of statements, okay? But if you, uh, the thing, every statement, every instruction in three address in, uh, instruction would be lengthy, okay? The number of bits, if we see, for example, if suppose, uh, let's take the first uh, instruction we have given here, add R1 comma A comma B, okay? In three address instruction, the address may be the address of one of the register or it may be the address of a memory location. So here R1 is register, right? <coughs> R1 is a general purpose register and A and B are the memory locations. So let's say the computer have uh, the CPU of a computer maintains some, um, some 16 registers are maintained in the computer. So how many address bits, okay? How many binary bits are used to represent this address of R1 when there are 16 registers in the computer. Somebody can unmute, please don't uh, write in the chat. Okay, can somebody unmute and tell me when the re CPU has 16 registers, general purpose registers, how many address uh, binary bits? Okay, in the uh, address field, we have to give for uh, representing this R1, address of R1. Four bits. Four bits, correct. Okay, because two power four is 16. Okay, four bits are used to represent uh, the address of the register. And A and B are the two memory locations. Okay, and uh, let's say it has 16 bits. Okay, let's consider the 4096 word memory organization. So here A and B will have 16 bits. So if you write the instruction here, add, R1 comma A comma B, okay? So to write this instruction, how many bits are needed? First, let's, uh, for R1, okay, for this register, R1 will have four bits. In this instruction, it is add R1 comma A B, okay? This will have four bits. And how many bits this A and B will have? Let's say it is a 4096 word memory. So 16 bits are, you know, uh, this A takes 16 bits and memory address B, okay, takes 16 bits. And let's say the computer performs some uh, 32 operations. Okay, there are, the computer performs 32 operations. 
in this case how many bits are uh, used to represent this particular operation add five five bits okay so here five bits so how many bits are taken by this instruction okay how many uh, bits uh, uh, we need to give to represent this particular instruction add r1 comma a comma b okay 5 plus 4 plus 16 plus 16 okay whereas this two address instructions if you take the number of bits are reduced okay that is the difference here but generally when we write program when the program becomes uh, no when it has uh, number of not like this okay we have maximum here how many lines of instruction six lines okay it is a simple program it but when we write a very lengthy program, when it has, uh, when it uh, contains more number of lines, in such cases, we try to reduce the, uh, you know, instructions. Number of instructions need to be reduced so that the program will become uh, simple. Otherwise, it, uh, it takes a lot of time to execute. Okay, and the complexity is generally the complexity is increased. Okay, in such case, so we try to reduce the number of instructions. So let's write the same, okay, we wrote uh, three address instructions and two address instructions. Now let, uh, let's write how this can be evaluated using uh, one address instructions. The expression is <coughs> the expression is A plus B into C plus D. So using one as one address instruction, how we can write this? The first operand we need to take is one address instructions are okay generally you no know, used in single accumulator organization right when the cpu has single accumulator organization so accumulator is implicitly used as one of the register okay that stores one operand so here let's say yeah we need to first take a it's a memory operand okay it need to be stored in register for processing so the first instruction we write is load A. What does this mean? Load the content of memory word uh, no, at location A into the accumulator. Okay, we don't specify AC here. It is an implicit register. So the meaning of this instruction is <coughs> move the content of memory word A to accumulator. Okay, this is the first instruction. And the second instruction is second operand is B. Okay, it is in memory. So we can, as we have A in AC already accumulated, we can add directly give the instruction add that adds B to accumulator A. Correct? Okay, we, uh, so we don't write to, we don't need to write another load instruction. Okay, we have already A in accumulator. So we write add B. So this instruction add the content of accumulator to the memory operand B, okay, and stores the result in to AC, accumulator. And now accumulator has A plus B, okay, this is the accumulator register. The result of A plus B is there in accumulator. Now we need to perform the same for C plus D, okay, we have this accumulator is used to store the data. Okay, so here now to store C into the accumulator, we need to first uh, move the content already we have in accumulator to memory. So let's write store instruction. Okay, the instruction to move the content of accumulator to memory is store. So store the content of AC to memory location. We call it as T. Okay, let's say it's a temporary location. 
Okay, so what this instruction does, it moves the content of accumulator into the memory word at T, okay, location T. So the accumulator content that is in memory in T we have now memory location T has A plus B, correct? The result of A plus B is there in memory. Now the next instruction, okay? Now accumulator is free. We can load the other operand. The next operand is C for performing C plus D. So we write the instruction load C, okay? This load the content of memory operand C into accumulator, okay? Next, we need to add D to the accumulator content, that is C, okay? So we write the instruction add D. Okay, so it removes the content of memory at, doc at location D and adds it to accumulator and stores the result into accumulator. Okay, memory operand D is added to the content of accumulator that is C and stores the result in accumulator. So now what we have in accumulator? The result, right? Result of C plus D. So C plus D is there in accumulator and we have a plus b the result of a plus b in memory location t now the next operation we have to perform to evaluate this expression is multiply both the results both the temporary results okay a plus b is in t and c plus d is in ac can you anybody tell me the instruction to multiply the content of t mem okay memory location t to the accumulator. Yes, quick, somebody tell me the instruction. What is the instruction to multiply the content of memory location T to that of accumulator? A single address, one address instruction. AC into memory of T, it transfers to AC. AC into memory of that's what AC is an implicit register. We don't have to say, okay, we don't have to AC here in the instruction. We don't need to specify this register, okay, because here load A by default, what it does, it loads the content of memory at location A into accumulator because accumulator is a default register used in single accumulator organization, okay, one address instructions. Okay, are written in single accumulator organization in uh, computers. Okay, so here accumulator is an implicit register. We don't have to write AC in the instruction. Okay, automatically the computer understands that when a single address instruction is written and one address is given, the other address is accumulator. Okay, the other operand is in the accumulator. So the instruction we write is mul. Yeah, somebody wrote in the chat box. AC into M of T, yeah, that is the instruction. Okay, so how we, uh, that is the operation to be done. So how we write the instruction, MUL, that is for multiplication. Multiply what? The content of accumulator, we don't need to write accumulator here, to the content of memory at location T. So we write only T here, okay? So it is understood here that multiply the operation to be performed is multiplication. Yes, very good. 554, yes, the uh, operation is. Okay, so here multiply uh, the content of memory location at T to accumulator. Okay, so we write the, the operation performed is memory at T is multiplied to AC and the result is stored in AC. 
Now we have one instruction left, okay? Because now we have the final result. What we have in accumulator now, we have A plus B into C plus D, okay? This is a final result that is in accumulator. But uh, here we want it in X, okay? The expression is X equal to A plus B into C plus D. X is a memory location. So we want this result into, okay, in memory uh, location X. Okay, so how we write the instruction. Now we need to move the content of accumulator to memory, that's it. So that is the instruction used to move the content of accumulator to memory is store, okay? To store AC to memory location X, we write store X. The meaning of this instruction is memory at location X, okay, gets the content of accumulator AC. That is the final result, okay, A plus B into C plus D that we have in finally X. So using one address instructions, this particular instruction, okay, given as evaluated this way. Here, when you compare it with the earlier, yeah, with the earlier uh, set of three address and two address instructions, the number of instructions are increased or reduced. When it is one address instruction, we have seven, num a number of instructions are seven. Okay, even though it is from two address to single address, one address, one and number of instruction increased is one only because already implicitly accumulator is used as the other register. Okay. And the next type of instruction is zero address instruction. Zero address instructions are written in which uh, type of organization? We have just discussed zero address instructions are written in. Yes, stack organization. Okay, so stack organized computers, we will have zero address instruction. This add does not have any address here. So how to evaluate, uh, how to write instructions to evaluate this expression? So we need to use a stack. Okay, for we know, uh, we have already learned that to evaluate an expression, you know, using a stack, the expression need to be converted to postfix form, correct? Okay, so let's write the postfix form of this expression. Postfix form of this expression is A, B. Okay, the operands we write first and then comes the operator. So for A plus B, we write A, B plus. And the second operation to be performed is C plus D. We write it as C, D operands first and then the operator CD plus and the third operation to be performed here is multiplication of A plus B and C plus D. So here the next operator is multiplication. Okay, so this is the postfix form of the given expression AB plus CD plus star. Okay, now what all the operations to be done? First we need to, okay, let's say that the stack pointer is zero. Okay, minus one. Let's start with minus one. So at zeroth location, we will have the first operand. Okay, we need to recollect that, what we learned earlier, evaluating the expression uh, using reverse Polish notation, that is postfix notation. First operand, okay, when you, uh, you need to scan the expression from left to right. When you scan, what is the first? And it is A, right? First data element, push it into the stack. Okay, this is SP and next, what is the next data element? B, okay, you push it into the stack incrementing SP, okay. So SP will be pointing to 
this and what is next it is less it is an operator okay when an operator is reached remove the top two elements of uh, the stack that is perform pop operation that removes the elements okay remove the top two elements of stack perform the operation okay a plus b and store the result back into the stack so we remove this and store back store the result a plus b into the stack okay when we say the result of a plus b i write this bracket to uh, denote the result of this operation okay and so this is stack pointer now the you uh, know temporary result a plus b is there on the stack now okay keep scanning the expression the next operand is c it is pushed into the stack okay and the next operand is d it is pushed and this is the stack pointer the top location then what is the next operator okay the next element is plus it is an operator so when an operator is reached we remove the top two elements top two elements are c and d so we perform d sorry it's plus right yeah it's d plus c okay so this is performed so when these two elements are removed and we push the result back into the stack so at the top of the stack we will have d plus c and stack pointer point will be pointing to this and when you scan the next element is star okay it is an operator again so we will not push it into the stack we remove the top two elements of the stack what are the top two elements now d plus c and a plus b remove these two and perform the given operation the operation is star okay so we now perform uh, d plus c into a plus b okay so this operation is performed now and the result will be stored back into the stack okay so we will have this result into the stack we will have d plus c into a plus b so finally we will have the result into the stack and to move the result into the uh, into the memory location because x is equal to a plus b into so we need to move it finally into the memory location so now we can write the instructions right we know we have already learned this how to perform the how to evaluate the expression converting it to postfix and then scanning it from left to right when an operand is reached push it into the stack when an operator is encountered you remove the top two elements of the stack and perform the given operation and push the result into the stack okay we continue this until there is no more operator left okay so the same thing we have to now uh, you know for performing these operations we need to write the instructions using zero address okay some operations like push and pop need one one address and add okay uh, here addition and multiplication does not need any address so what is the first step the first operation to be performed is push the first operand is a so push a what is the meaning of this stack okay we write tos means top of stack the top of stack will have the memory operand a okay the value of a that is in memory is moved to top of stack and what is the next operation or the next operand is b so we need to push push b the meaning is top of stack will be will contain the memory okay word at address b what is the next step can somebody tell me when you scan it is plus okay so what is the next instruction yes it is a plus b how we write the instruction
yeah add a plus b okay so the instruction we write is okay this is what i'm asking you to tell the instruction what is the instruction here we wrote push b so this way what is the third step here just tell me the third line what i should write here no we don't use ac here okay the operation is and it is not memory m of a and m of b okay it is moved to top of stack we need to remove the two elements from the stack top of stack and perform addition so what is the instruction we write here it is add okay so the next operator when you in uh, this post fix expression okay you see this expression we first operand is a so we pushed it into the stack and second operand is b we push it into the stack and third uh, element is okay here plus it is an operator so when you evaluate it using stack what you do when you uh, when plus is reached when an operator comes we remove the top two elements of the stack and perform addition okay so we write add in the instruction written here is add and what is address we don't give any address here it is a zero address instruction add is a zero address instruction so by default what this instruction does it removes the top two elements of the stack and perform the operation okay as the operator is plus here it performs a plus b we don't write m of a and m of b here because memory it is not memory locations now it is in stack now okay so a plus b is moved to now the result is moved to top of stack this instruction add removes the top two elements the top two elements because a is pushed into the stack and then b is pushed into the stack so in the stack we will have a okay this is our stack in this we will have a at the first zeroth position and b at the top position the next operator is plus okay so we write add instruction so this instruction removes the top two element what are the top two elements a and b so we write here a plus b perform this operation and stores the result okay it stores a plus b so what we will have in the stack we will have a plus b the result of this operation will be moved to the stack this is our top of stack now okay tos this is the condition of the stack now now what is the next statement what is the next instruction we write the next instruction would be uh, when you reach uh, when you uh, you yes, scan this expression post fix expression the next data element is c it is an operand so when you uh, no when an operand comes in an expression what you do push c very good okay so the next instruction is push c okay so what we have in the top of the stack c is pushed into the stack okay so the meaning of this instruction is tos is from memory location the operand c okay at location c is moved to the top of stack and next instruction this is our tos what is the next instruction Yes. Okay. So we wrote, we write push D. Okay. So now we will have the memory operand D into the stack. Okay. So how? What is the condition of the stack? It is D. The data element D is pushed into the stack. So this is TOS, top of stack. And tell me the next operation. The next uh, when you scan from left to right. Next we have plus. Somebody wrote in the chat box. 
add very good okay now you understood so it is the instruction is add what this instruction does it removes the top two elements of the stack what are the top two elements c and d so it performs d plus c and stores the result back into the stack okay the meaning is tos is d plus c okay top two elements are added and stored back into the stack so in stack we have now c plus d okay this is our tos top of the stack has d uh, c plus d and the next operator okay is star in the expression in the postfix expression when you scan the next uh, element is star it is an operator so what what is the next instruction you wrote it already very good it's mul okay we just write mul so it removes the top two elements c plus d and a plus b and perform that operation okay so the operation performed this c plus d into a plus b this is our top two element so these two are removed it removes these two and the result okay the result of this expression c plus d into a plus b is stored back into the stack we will have this at the top location in the stack and next the last instruction is we don't want the result in the stack we want it in memory location x so now how can anybody now tell me the instruction to move this uh, i know the result that is there in the stack to memory location memory x no move somebody wrote it move and store x we will not use from stack okay it is stack organization store x is used to store the content of accumulator to memory location x see now we need to remove the content of stack top of the stack is c plus d into a plus b we need to remove what is the operation to remove this element correct pop okay so it is the next instruction we write is pop and store it in memory location x okay so the instruction is pop x this particular this instruction removes the result from memory uh, sorry result okay that is stored in the top of the stack and store it into memory location x so the meaning of this is memory okay at this location x will have the okay value at top location in the stack top of stack is moved to memory x location okay so here if you see this set of instructions we have a single address instruction okay when push and pop instructions are used we have single address okay what element to be pushed into the stack and what to be removed from the stack okay is given as the address and the computational instructions such as add and multiplication has zero address okay this way this instruction this particular expression is evaluated using zero address instruction and in the type of instructions we have also seen this rise instructions okay this rise is reduced instruction set computer okay rise means reduced instruction set computer okay so that means in this uh, computer okay in this particular organization rise computers uh yes reduce instruction set computers the instruction set is reduced to the use of load and store instructions when communicating between the memory and cpu okay for communicating between memory and cpu we use only load and store okay otherwise we also used move instruction right this cannot be used okay this here it has a reduced the name itself 
okay you can understand from the name given to this organization ris a reduced instruction set so it has limited set of instructions okay the instruction set used in this particular organization is very limited only load and store are used for storing or loading data from memory to some registers or to store the data into memory okay for communicating between memory and cpu we can use only load and store instructions and the second point is all the other instructions are executed within the registers of the cpu without referring to memory okay Ex except this load and store this in this memory address can be given because this is used to uh, communicate between memory and cpu and all the other instructions will have only register addresses okay we will not use memory address in the other instructions only load and store will have memory address if suppose some data need to be added okay we write add instruction here we cannot otherwise we say add r1 comma x means memory uh, you know the operand at memory location x to be added to register content r1 okay content of register r1 and stores the result in r1 but this instruction cannot be written here okay it can add only the content of registers memory reference cannot be given in other instructions okay if you remember these points it will be easy to understand to communicate between memory and cpu we have load and store instructions only the instruction set is reduced here okay it has a limited set of instructions and all the other there are some restrictions okay the all the other instructions are executed within the registers only no memory reference is uh, given here so the ris instructions if you see for performing if you write uh, this this uh, instructions okay the instructions to evaluate the same expression uh, it will be clear you will understand it c plus t okay so how we write uh, the set of instructions to evaluate this expression using rasc the first instruction is to move we need to first the first operand is a okay we need to store it in some registers register right okay so we write here load some register r1 comma a the meaning of this is the meaning is move the content of memory at location a okay memory operand a to register r1 this is a general purpose register and generally what we write next okay we can write we usually write uh, add a is there in r1 so we can write r1 comma b the next operand is b okay this uh, this has to add add the content of b to r1 but as we use this uh, yeah here the organization is risc okay we cannot use the add instruction this way we cannot have memory reference in add instruction only registers okay so we need to move the second operand into some register to perform addition okay so we load the other operand b into another register r2 okay the meaning of this is move the content of memory location uh, no memory at location b to r2 and now we can perform addition correct r1 comma r2 so add okay this this type of instructions can have two address or three address okay this can have either two address or three address and it can be of memory or registers but all the only load and store instructions will have memory reference so here add instruction okay what all the content to be added now a is in r1 and b is in r2 so we write r1 comma r2 okay generally when we write r1 comma r2 the content of these registers need to be added and the result should be stored in r1 okay but here in risc organization we need to specify explicitly the re resultant register okay we cannot give add r1 comma r2 it is add r1 comma r1 comma r2 the meaning is add the content of registers r1 and r2 and store it into r1 this is the resultant destination register has to be explicitly specified 
okay otherwise in other organization by writing add r1 comma r2 writing to address field also we can add this okay the, it performs the same r1 is r1 plus r2 okay these two are added and stored in r1 but as this has the reduced instruction set okay where the format is this the destination register should be explicitly specified and the next instruction how many addresses we have to pass in rasc that's what we can have two address or three address okay these instructions can have either two address or three addresses okay in this we have three addresses and the next uh, operand so this part is done a plus b okay we have in register r1 we have a plus b the result of the instruction okay this uh, expression a plus b and now the second part of the expression is c plus d so we need to load c into a register because only operations can be performed on registers only so we write the instruction load let's say r3 c okay this moves the content of memory location okay at c to r3 and to move d now d to other register we write the instruction load d to r4 okay so this moves the content of memory at location d into r4 so we have now c and d in r3 and r4 to add to perform c plus d we write the instruction add r the content of registers r3 and r4 to be added and stored in r3 so r3 is the destination register okay here r3 and you can give some other register also okay to make use of the same register we are here we are giving r3 r3 comma r4 so the number of registers no utilized are less the other registers can be used for some other operations okay some other to store some other data okay so here the meaning of this is r3 is register r3 plus r4 is added and moved to r3 so now we have the result okay this is register r1 and register r3 will have the result of c plus d okay the expression c plus d now the next part of the expression is multiplication okay so we write mul tell me the instruction mul what all the address we have to give here the destination what is the destination here yes r1 and r3 correct r1 and r3 need to be multiplied and where you store the result what is the destination location where we need to store the result x very good okay so mul mul we write x x is the destination and the source registers are r1 okay that is a plus b into c plus d that is an r3 okay so this performs the multiplication of the content of r1 into r3 and moves the result into memory at location x so we will have the final result of a plus b into c plus d into in this particular location in memory okay memory location x okay this way we write these instructions okay the instructions to evaluate this expression in rasc uh, organization okay we will study uh, you know in detail about this reduced instruction set computers later we have included this is included here just to understand the uh, you know number of address fields used in the instructions hope this is clear if you have any doubts you can clarify now let me check the attendance